Ascent is go. Leaving Atmo. All clear. Before the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. And I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. That's fantastic. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? We're adventurers. Whatever makes the squad comfortable is okay with me. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. We discovered the Remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning a number of times. And didn't die. Confronted by Ket at every turn. Once again, did not get killed. You guys really need to raise the bar on what you call success. <laughs> yeah, should we use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your own people? <laughs> Fair enough. Let's focus back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half-cocked. There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots, just to be clear. So what do you need from us, Ryder? Let's be kind and give each other the benefit of the doubt. Finding a home for tens of thousands in this hellscape is stressful enough without adding dysfunction. You got it, boss. If Krogan are known for one thing, it's getting along. But not humility or self-awareness. Okay, let's head back to the Nexus. PB, Drac, see Lexi for a physical. Good meeting, everyone. I'm in the galley when you're free.
haven't really spoken since orientation, have we? It's all been so hectic, but I'm sure things will quiet down soon. Can't be worse than the Nexus. You're setting up in here, huh? Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. This is a nice, out-of-the-way place where I can tinker, and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home. While I'm with you, at least. Does your brain ever take a breath? <laughs> Sorry, not really. Even my dreams are in time-lapse. I get it. You want to know who's on your ship, so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, right? Something like that? Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana, to simple but loving parents, just trying to... I look forward, not back, Ryder. Why snooze through my life story? Get to know me out in the field, while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. That's why I'm here. Got tired of yawning back home. Maybe you just needed more sleep. We were out for 600 years. A special someone made the trip with me, and she woke up a different person. I've slept enough. Ryder, the Milky Way was so... been there, done that. Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I live for the unknown. For the never been done. Well, congratulate yourself. No one has ever so successfully dodged my attempts to get to know them. Yes! I'm number one! Buy me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth. Then again... I need remnant scrap. Remtech, I call it. For projects like the one I mentioned. Which you're gonna love, by the by. Promise to bring me what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your questions. Remtech, huh? You got it. You again. Want to hear more about my childhood log cabin? You really won't tell me what you're working on. That's right. Next question. What was it like for you on the Nexus? Well, I wasn't supposed to be woken up yet. A resourceful accomplice finagled my early thaw. So I kind of lived off the grid. Snuck around, bullshitted my way onto excursions off station. After I found my first remnant ruin, I started, uh, borrowing shuttles. After that, I didn't spend much time on the Nexus. I even missed most of the revolt. You mentioned you came to Andromeda with someone? Nothing gets by you. Guess that's why you're the Pathfinder. Just a friend. The one who woke me up early. But now she's not even that. It's better to venture into the unknown without restraints or entanglements, don't you think? A certain independence might be helpful. Yeah. Exactly. I don't want anything holding me back. So how do you like the team? Interesting bunch. I get a good feeling from Vetra. Not your typical military-minded Turian. Liam seems a lively one. I expect he'll surprise me. Drek is... well... old. Wonder if he can still learn new tricks. What about... Gil smacks of complication. Might take some unraveling. Callow and Suvi seem... Busy. I hope they aren't all work, work, work. <sighs> Who's left? Well, there's... Oh, right. Cora. What's her deal? Is she as prim and proper as she comes across? She's exactly what she should be. Capable, reliable. She's a valuable part of my team. Sure, sure. That comes across, too. There's also Lexi, our doctor. She's in Asari. Oh, I'll get around to her. All in all, seems like a decent bunch. What drew you to the Remnant? Are you kidding? It's evidence of a sophisticated species no one knows anything about. It doesn't get more intriguing than that. There's so much to discover. I want to be the first to figure them out. And the tech, it's on a different scale. If we can appropriate it, who knows what advances we'll make. You're off the hook, PB. Good luck with your project. Thanks. Don't be a stranger.
give the Pathfinder too much trouble. Oh, Roshan. Who are you talking to? Kesh, Nexus Superintendent, thinks she can boss me around just because she's my granddaughter. I like the no trouble plan. How about we stick with that? <laughs> Kesh said not too much trouble, kid. Not no trouble. You can't make sure some trouble's always coming for you. That's not reassuring. Life out here ain't reassuring. You'll get used to it. Is that all you brought? You travel lean when supplies are tight and you're on your own. Leaving the Nexus can't have been an easy choice. It was, actually. Staying became impossible. After the mutiny happened, it was either buckle under Tan's rules or start our own colony. Easy choice. Bad consequences all around. Not all Krogan left. Your granddaughter stayed. Good thing she did. Without my Rushan, you wouldn't have had much of a station to tie your ship to. As for me, I'm way more useful out here. Lots to shoot at, for one. Your people come first. Keeping Cash and our colony safe will always be my top priority. That's why I'm happy to tag along, help make this galaxy a little more hospitable. Can't argue with that. Ryder, you meet Spender yet? Colonial Affairs, the ass in Assistant Director. Got no idea why Addison keeps him around. Spender lied to the Krogan during the uprising, and he's headed out for cash ever since. He's up to something. I just can't prove it. We should pay him a visit on the Nexus. What's it like to have Cash as a granddaughter? Cash is my Rushan, child of my blood. Raised her myself. Damn proud of her, too. She did good, even with me for a granddad. She's honest. Definitely blunt. She had to take after me in some ways, I guess. Did Lexi brief you on Sam and squad connectivity yet? Yeah. You want to hook that thing up to my comms, sure, but that's where it stops. Putting an AI in your head, giving it access to everything like that, it's begging for trouble. Why do you say that? I've seen what bots can do when they turn on their creators. Been in some of those fights. There's a reason that kind of research was outlawed. Yeah. I was dismissed from the Alliance when news of what my dad was researching got out. No shit. Ruined the writer name, I'll bet. Almost. Sam is part of what makes someone a Pathfinder. You're just gonna have to deal with that. So long as it's not in my head and it ain't messing with my body. I'd like to know more about you. Fire away. How did you and Vetra meet? Huh, that's right. Your father brought you into the project pretty late, didn't he? Must have been a pretty steep learning curve since they thawed you out. You could say that. You make do with what you get. Anyway, I met Vetra back when we were building the Nexus. She swiped supplies I was trying to get for cash right under my nose. I tried to intimidate her into turning them over to me, and let me tell you, that Turian takes shit from no one. She really has a way of getting things done. She sure does. But here's the best part. She waited until I saw her again in Cash's office, no less, to tell me she'd been working for Cash all along. They're both still laughing at me over that. Tell me more about the Krogan colony. My clan's there. We also got some scouts looking for any unclaimed territory to grab up. Got a decent setup going. Self-sustainable. The works. Even some farming. Farming? Krogan farm? Food's food. Just because we can eat anything doesn't mean we gotta settle for scraps. 
I'm pretty fond of corkrow roots myself. Takes a while to chew through those. So, about all this combat experience you have, I'd love some details. Ha! <laughs> the list will be shorter if you ask me what experience I don't have. I've been doing this for a long time now. Centuries. Shit, well over a thousand years. Don't even know how I'm still alive, to be honest. Skill? You need luck to be a merc. Skill, sure, but a whole lot of luck. And a really hard head. Got any stories or advice to share? Does a pie jack scratch its butt? Anything about the cat? Or combat in general? Well, common cat are pretty straightforward. Hit them hard enough, they die like anything else. Tell me more about fighting cat. Wraiths are sneaky little shits, like the ghost up behind you when you least expect it. Just listen for them. They tend to give themselves away right before coming at you. Break through their head plates, then a headshot should do the trick. Tell me more about fighting Cat. Destined or annoying. Quick. Got some crazy mist that hides them from view. They're friends, too. Take a Destined down, and that mist goes away. Makes them a prime target, if you ask me. Perfect for grenade practice. Tell me more about fighting Cat. There's just something wrong about the Cat. The absolute single-mindedness. Tell me more about fighting Cat. So, Chosen, it's not good to let too many of them get close to you at once. If they hit your shields, take a step back. Let me handle them. Bet you anything they're not used to being rushed by a Krogan. Tell me more about fighting Cat. Fire and explosives are good against anything with heavy armor. Or anything, really. Generally, no one likes being set on fire. Generally? There's a story behind this. Ha! <laughs> there sure is. You mentioned that people generally don't like being set on fire? <laughs> I was hoping you'd ask. So, about 400 years ago, give or take a decade, me and my outfit were pinned down during a skirmish with another merc group. So I pull off my usual stunt, charge ahead and breach their barricade. Pop my flamethrower and get ready to let go. Only to see them all screaming and running away. Turns out I crashed through a shipment of Turian brandy on my way in. Never even noticed I was on fire. But they sure did. <laughs> Never seen a pack of mercs panic that badly before. Tell me more about fighting Cat. Ascendant. Hmm. Keep your distance. Don't let him get you in those force fields. Pop that little orb, then shoot him in the head, just like anything else. Tell me more about fighting Cat. Fiends, uh, kid. Even I'm not gonna mess with those at close range. Keep your distance. Shoot them into red, fleshy bits, or I guess in the face if you can't flank them. Tell me more about fighting Cat. Shoot stuff and don't die. Always works for me. Tell me more about fighting Cat. Shoot stuff and don't die. Always works for me. Why did the Krogan leave the Nexus? The Nexus got us Krogan to stop the mutiny. In return, we were supposed to get a say in station business. Spender, Addison's assistant, lied about the deal, and Tan came down hard. Too hard. So we left. Cash is alone on that station now. You think someone might try to hurt Cash? Ah, more like she airlocks Spender. Or, he tries to stab her in the back, and then she airlocks him. Dan wouldn't listen to me when I told him Spender had a part in the mutiny. I had no proof. So, what's my part in this? Things need to get sorted out, and my clan needs to get back on station, without Spender messing things up. Way I see it, you're probably the best one for that job. We can talk more later. Sure. Hey, one last thing. Yeah?
Is everyone a kid to you? Ha, huh, when you get to be my age, yeah, pretty much. Pathfinder Rider to Engineering. Repeat, Rider to Engineering. <laughs> Shit, is this thing on? Pathfinder, help me with something? I know, not exactly standard. Gotta make the space comfortable. Plus, the fabric diffuses the charge from an overclocked Omni blade. Not giving up a 6% boost, right? Someone brought this to Andromeda? It was new when we left. It's been a hard year. So, finally time for that beer? And after two years and a dozen suspensions, I took a lateral promotion out of the force. Being a cop just didn't fit. But crisis response? Digging people out of trouble? That worked. I bet Hustle followed you into a few peace actions. Think about your alliance days much? Tell me about your group. Heavy urban search terrain one. Yeah. Earth's contribution to a multi-species disaster response unit. HUST-1, but Hustle looks much better on the patch. <laughs> All civilians, retired vets, or shits like me. I was fiercely bearded. Tastes better just thinking about those days. I wanted adventure and mystery at the edge of known space. There was so much to see. Seems like a long time ago. 600 years, give or take. So, Pathfinder, why Andromeda? That blunt, huh? That blunt. I hoped my Alliance career would lead to adventure, exploring, hunting dangers in the dark. Didn't happen. Couldn't. But here, everything's new. And I want to see it all. Ah, oh, I don't hear idealist a lot. Everyone's cynical. Back at you, Costa. Why'd you come? I want to say I'm running from my past, but really running from myself. That'd be a great story. But it's bullshit. I had family, friends, a good enough job, nothing was wrong. I just heard about the initiative and I believed in it. I believed in a new beginning, still do. I have to, we're in it. If it all goes wrong, it could feel like we left for no reason. I know why I'm here. A bad start can't change that, I won't let it. In crisis response, I'd focus on essentials, that's you and this team. Pathfinder leads to planets, leads to people. You've got your part covered, you've got this. I'll do my damnedest to help with the rest. Prodromos. Prodromos. Sounds good, doesn't it? We started Pathfinder. A new life. That is goddamn brilliant. We barely covered how you joined. Tell me something about yourself. All right, I was a bad student, piss poor cop, great responder. Had a good life, but it all been done. I wasn't looking to start over. I wanted to start big. You were a cop then, crisis response? Couldn't have been long in either. Didn't have the patience for law, so I figured enforcement. Dad knew it didn't fit before I did, but it got me into hustle. They mostly take vets and retired service. Best years of my life. You found your place. Not everyone gets that. I knew it. Glad for it every day. And that led me here. Tell me about your family. I miss the hell out of them. Some nights you just cry, right? That's the thing everyone does. Mom, Joel, Dad, Calvin. Both lawyers. Met on the Citadel, settled on Earth. No brothers or sisters. That might have been too much to leave. It was traditional. How about you? A 
Life with my family was not typical, on a number of fronts. You make do though, right? Family has to. I know mine did. I said goodbye to my mom and dad, and got on a ship to Andromeda. We'll talk later. I know it. I'll talk to someone. Oh, hey, Pathfinder. <gasps> the Pathfinder's there? Let me say hi. Fine, but don't embarrass me. Ryder, this is Sid, my sister. Sid, Ryder. Hope I'm not interrupting something important. Not at all. We were just finishing up. Wait, Ryder, I just wanted to know if... So I know it feels like I just jumped aboard your ship without explanation. Now's as good a time as any. I think... No. I know that I can be of use here. I know everyone on the crew, even the actuators Gil prefers for the ship. Better, I know how to get my hands on them. With me around, your crew's going to be at their best. We've been failing for months, Ryder. Now that we have you, we have a chance out here. Wow, that's some laser focus. Yeah? Was it too much? Some people get intimidated. We need that sort of drive. I just hope I can keep up. You'll keep up. And I promise I won't tell if you don't. I should track down a lead for Gil's actuators. Back channels, you know. We'll chat later. Terraforming, Atmo processors, gravity wells, life-destroying murder bubbles. <laughs> we really had no idea what Helios was about, did we? <laughs> if we knew what it was all about, it wouldn't be an adventure. It would just be moving. And everyone hates moving. Just the packing alone? Ugh. <laughs> Point taken. I'm just saying. I really hope you have a plan, Ryder. The plan's the same. We find a home. Whatever that takes. Keep that drive. Makes me believe we can make it. I mean, we have to make it. The alternative is not even worth thinking about. You talked about your back channels. What did you mean? We brought a lot from home. Some of it marked initiative, some of it in personal caches. Most things you want, someone's got. You just have to figure out who, and what they're willing to take in exchange. It can't be that simple. Oh, but it is. Most things are simple once you know the trick to them. Have anyone else here with you? Besides Sid? No, just me and Sid. It's always been just the two of us. No, I mean... someone special. Special? Oh. You mean like... Oh. <laughs> no, nothing like that. Who has time? What about you? Anywhere is going to feel empty if you don't have someone to share it with. A romantic? I wasn't expecting that. And again, the entire idea of leaving everything you know for a chance at something new is kind of romantic. Um, anyway. How did you hear of the Andromeda Initiative? Short answer, Cash. She was looking for some experimental ship mods, and I knew how to track them down. I thought it was a one-time deal, but she came back. Once, twice. Eventually, I figured out something was going on, something big with creds behind it. I asked and she told me about the initiative. New galaxy, new home, couldn't pass that up. You were on the Nexus when the revolt happened? When you promise people golden worlds and all they get are wastelands and a death cloud, they riot. Some wanted to go home, some demanded answers, and a couple just wanted to stir shit up. And you? Some days I wondered if the Exiles had a point. Maybe we were conned into coming here. But why would the Initiative go to all this trouble just to screw us over? The thing about conning people, you always know something they don't. And that's why the con works. And if I'm going to pick a side, I'm picking the liars. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me.
Pathfinder making the rounds. Slumming it, huh? Want to see how the riffraff are making out? Hey, this is the most important part of the ship. Whoa, don't tell me they put someone smart in charge for a change. I am at your command. Just want to see how things are going with the ship? I can coax more out of this baby than some might think, but we shouldn't go too far or push too hard between Nexus stops. For now. It just feels good to be stretching our wings, you know? Locked in idle too long, you start to drift. People, same as ships. Stuck on the Nexus, gotta say, I was regretting joining the initiative. Seems like life back there was pretty bleak. Not gonna lie, it sucked. I tend to live the way I work. Kinda feel it, do it. Not a lot of close ties, no real sense of purpose. Figured maybe I'd find my true calling in Andromeda. Then I got here and, oops, I just made a decision there's no turning back from. I was going nuts on that station. You can't know how jazzed I was when you showed up. We're exploring this cluster. Eventually, the galaxy. If your purpose is here, we'll find it. Then the question will be, what will I do with it? <laughs> In the meantime, you just keep pointing this ship wherever you want it to go, and I'll make sure she can get there. Deal? Deal. Nice place you found. Clean air, plants, helps me think. Something on your mind? <sighs> Maybe. What the hell was that? <sighs> I know that look. It's just my biotics reacting to all this. I don't normally lose it like that. A huntress should have better control. Huntress? Another term for an Asari commando. I was one, before the initiative. Some things stick, though. Like losing the old man. How does a human soldier get to serve with Asari? Prove your biotics can rip an APC apart, and people get nervous. Funny that. The Alliance found me a cross-species military initiative in a hurry. Sent me to Thessia to serve with the Huntress unit. One of the few places where my powers were welcomed. Your father made another one. There's a lot of loss going around. Dad, the Golden Worlds. A friend and mentor who trained you to be a Pathfinder. I prepped for years as your father's second. Then he chooses you? An untrained Pathfinder and all this mess to fix? The hell was he thinking? Is this going to be a problem, Cora? I don't want a rival. Just answers. It, it's done. Best I can do now is be your second. Keep your father's mission alive. Then maybe we'll all get what we came out here for. So what brought you out to Andromeda? Biotics like this. Thinking like an Asari huntress. I never had a place. Best I could be was a useful freak. The initiative was meant to be different will be different if this mission succeeds. So I'm seeing it through. It's quiet in here. I can keep the plants watered while I work. First job, see if there's any news on the Asari Ark. If they made it, we could use some Asari expertise. If you want to talk, I'll be here. Back again? What did you do while you were part of the Asari military? Four years in a commando unit called Ta Lane's Daughters. Part of the Council's cross-species military integration initiative. You probably had a more exciting time defending that Arcturus relay. But we did good work. Peacekeeping is a full-time job, even in Asari space. What was your commando unit like? Janae and I were the youngsters. Tethys was our old lady sniper. 
Kalia patched us up, and Valenza prayed between firefights. Our CEO, Nasira, led us all over the Athena Nebula and beyond. A Huntress's work is never done. Every civilization needs its defenders. And the defenders usually match their civilization. Like Asari Huntresses being adaptable as hell. Makes you wonder what our militia will look like in a hundred years. You were in the Alliance before you became a Huntress, right? What made you join up? My biotics. I was still living on my parents' cargo freighter when they manifested. Untrained biotic power on a starship means accidents. But we couldn't afford a tutor. The Alliance had implants, the training, everything. Old history now. Your turn. Remind me why you came to Andromeda. I spent years watching pioneers go through the Arcturus mass relays. Off to glory while I stayed behind. Then Dad's career collapsed. His AI research made him too toxic. I heard. Must have changed everything for your family. We needed to start over somewhere new together. Or as together as we could. So, Andromeda. None of you writers ever think small, do you? Did you come out here with anyone? Maybe someone you served with? I had my fun on shore leave. <laughs> Nothing serious, though. Asari huntresses figure things out, but I was there for soldiering, not romance. You're not technically military anymore. Can't get anything past you, can I? How's the search for the Asari Ark going? The Lucinia? Checking every comm that's coming in. Nothing concrete yet. After four years with Asari Commandos, you must have some great war stories. Hmm. Uh, Nasira assassinated a Krogan warlord with a pack of playing cards once. A pack of cards? Choking hazard, apparently. Wow. How's the search for the Asari Ark going? Nothing new. Let's stay optimistic. How's the search for the Asari Ark going? Nothing new. Let's stay optimistic. Any more commando war stories? I always liked Janae. She was only 200, and with me around, she wasn't the kid anymore. She was a biotic prodigy. I once saw her yank an AA gun right off its housing, crushed a gang of slavers with it. Ouch. They didn't feel it for long. Janae was a good friend. Maybe she still is back there. Won't be a kid now, though. Any more commando war stories? Not just now. I'll try to remember a good one. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Thank you. 
familiar territory. The Nexus has been here for months. Still not enough time to survey it all. Anomaly on sensors. Anomaly on sensors. Probes launched. Anomaly found. Picking up something. Probe away. Detecting what's left of a ship. Anomaly on sensors. Probes launched. I found something. Pathfinder, is it true? We're settling Eos. We've thought that before. But Eos is different now, right? Pathfinder. All right, settle down. Give him space. Lieutenant Syax, Kendros's aide. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. They've got a Pathfinder again. This is what we do. And you've done it splendidly. Professor Herrick, right? What you achieved with that remnant vault is unprecedented, Pathfinder. Impossible. But with new scientific talent waking up, we'll unravel those mysteries. The whole Nexus will benefit. August Bradley will oversee that. He's the new mayor. Bradley? I know him. Seems like a good man. 
Well, what are you waiting for? There's a new world out there. Thank you, Ryder.